Let's talk about the direction of rotation. When you rotate, you can actually rotate in two directions, just like a clock can go clockwise or counterclockwise. Same idea with any kind of rotation. For example, if I told you to rotate around the cube, you could either go this direction or you could go this direction. So we need a way we can identify which way we are going to rotate and stick with it. Recall that OpenGL is a right-handed coordinate system that works quite nicely with the rotations as well. Here is the x-axis. Let's do the y-axis. And let's do the z-axis. So these are all the positive axes. So this is positive x, positive y, positive z. And I want to reach my hand out and grab this positive basis vector. And I want to do it in a way that my thumb points the same direction as the vector. It must be my right hand. Recall we are in a right-handed coordinate system. So if I reach my arm in, this is my arm, and I wanted my thumb to point this direction, then my fingers would have to crawl or curl behind the vector and come up around like this. Take my stick figure hand. This goes down behind the vector, comes up like this. This finger comes behind the vector, comes up like this. So my fingers would curl in this direction. Well, that's my right hand. My thumb's aligned, pointing the same direction as the x-axis. So this is the way that our cube will rotate in a positive rotation. A negative rotation is just the opposite direction. But a positive rotation of our cube around the x-axis will be in this direction. Watch, we can even prove it. I'm going to grab the rotate slider here, and I'm going to make it increase in the positive direction. And notice the cube is going the exact same direction I said it would. So there you go. Well, guess what? The other basis vectors are exactly the same. If I wanted to grab this y basis vector and have my thumb point up, that's my thumb, then my arm would come in like this, and my fingers would curl behind that vector and come out around like so. Another finger would curl behind it, come out like so. So my fingers are curling this way, which determines what a positive rotation around the y-axis will be. So here we go, positive rotation around the y-axis. Sure enough, the cube is rotating in the same direction as I said it would when I grabbed that basis vector with my right hand. Z, same idea. In fact, pause the video, think about it before I move on. I hope you took time to consider that. I'm going to bring my arm in here. I want to grab this basis vector. My thumb's going to point that way. It's my right arm, so my fingers will go over the vector and then curl under like this. Over the vector and curl under like this. So a positive rotation around the z-axis will be that direction. In fact, it looks like a lot like the x-axis, except we turned it around and now we're we're, we're aligned with the Z. Anyway, here we go. I'll grab this slider and we'll rotate. That is a positive rotation around the Z axis. Okay, very cool. Open GL, right handed coordinate system, DirectX, left handed coordinate system. All these concepts apply to DirectX, except it's your left hand coming in instead of your right hand. Or you could think of it as a negative rotation with a right handed, but I wouldn't do that. If you're using DirectX, think of your left hand, you're using OpenGL. Think of your right hand.